What up, YouTube? I'm fucking tired. Or is it just hay fever? My eyes are fucked. All right, we're going thrifting. We're gonna go find some shit to sell. Hopefully some good stuff. I wanna find some video games. I wanna find some toys. I can never find any videos anymore because no one wants to sell them anymore. They've caught on to my, they've caught on to my VHS thrifting. Maybe they are some of my subscribers, maybe. I doubt it, because I don't have many. So, what we're gonna do is just gonna go to a couple. I don't know if I'll film inside, uh, but I'll definitely show you what I get. This is the last straw. This is the last fucking straw. I'm sick and tired of thrift shops overpricing shit. It's absolutely dog shit that these thrift shops, op shops, whatever the fuck you want to call them, they're just absolutely overpricing everything. But today I've got a good feeling. I've got a really good feeling. It's only a 40 minute drive. I, I, I've got a good feeling, fingers crossed. I don't know if I'm gonna feel inside the stores, but I'll show you the outsides at least anyway. All right, I'm gonna go. I wanna fucking light up a morning fucking diary. All right, let's go thrifting. All right, so this one's usually pretty good. Um, they actually had some videos this time and I've got a lot of uh, videos from this one as well before. Uh, a bit shaky on the camera there. Uh, for 20 cents a video. Uh, their games were pretty crap. Uh, just PC games and their cassettes were just the same old Doris Day fucking Kamal shit. Uh, so that was uh, not worth it. Angry Birds, you are not worth it. Um, and it had some cords, overpriced cords and just some overpriced shit. DVDs, dollar each, overpriced because they were all crap. Videos weren't too bad at 20 cents each. I should have got all those Vietnam ones really when I think about it. But I didn't look them up because I just didn't look them up. And um, Ali and Willy Milly and all that. Look, I've already got a Willy Milly that's for fucking sale and it hasn't sold. And uh, Ali, actually now when I think about it, I probably would have sold. I should have looked that up. Uh, but uh, yeah, that Gorilla one was not uh, worth it at all. Oh, damn, that Ali one. I should have really thought about that. Ali probably would have gone. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, Strictly Boring and Brew, Blue Crush and uh, Panic Room, all that crap, no good. Those Vietnam ones, I... Damn, I probably should have really looked them up now when I think about it, but I wasn't thinking. Um, the teddies and the stuffed toys were okay. Uh, nothing worth me really grabbing. Um, they had a few okay things and alright prices. It was just, it was kind of the same old shit and it was nothing that was going to make you some good money on eBay. So I moved along from there. Uh, clothes I do not do. So I bypassed that crap. Uh, the books, the books, I thought I'd uh, give the books uh, another chance. Uh, I kind of just skimmed through them. Uh, same old shit, really. Um, but I was kind of looking for horror ones and Star Wars ones. That was my focus when I went in there, which I was lucky enough. I asked the um, the the angry lady that was uh, sitting down. I asked angry lady, the uh, guardians of the books, she must have been. This guy was... Uh, uh, thinking it was a free library and just doing what he wanted to do there. But, um, yeah, had a look through. She showed me where the Star Wars ones was, which was pretty good. And I will show you the Star Wars. There she was. She was not impressed that I asked for her help. Not impressed at all. I uh, quickly uh, say, oh, she was not happy with me. Fucking make her do some work. She was pissed. So anyway, after she helped me, I did find two Star Wars books, which I'll show you. Ended up having a little walk around the rest of the store. Um, yeah, that was my uh, leg. And then, yeah, it was all just toasters and sandwich press and saucepans and pots and pans. All that type of fucking junk. Nothing really worth fucking grabbing unless you wanted to spend hours there fucking searching through everything. Which I was already on a bit of a uh, time limit. Uh, the records I did have a look through. And that was just all junk there. 
I did have a look through the records. The records that were there were crap. Just your more Kamals and like Olivia Newton-John stuff again. Um, this shelf down here and all that had all these little bits and pieces that you, old women would put on their shelves. Uh, no good for thrifting. Okay, so I found this two Star Wars books. Two Star Wars books. One's 50 cents. One is a dollar. Um... The only thing is, so Return of the Jedi, that's the old school one. Unfortunately, pen mark there, and I don't know if that's been drawn in or not, but this is an old school storybook, which is pretty damn cool. The only thing is, and that wouldn't, oh, it's got Elaine Taylor written there and Elaine written there, but apart from that, it's fucking vintage. It's pretty fucking sweet, so I reckon I get 10 bucks for that. Maybe, I don't know what I can get for this one. The pages are bent there, I'll pay, I'll, I'll do them back, but. Dollar fifty, I reckon I can make fifteen bucks there. Easy. Let's try another op shop. So this next place, this was actually all right. It had some uh, decent games down here that were five dollars each. Um, I did look them up. I had to put the thing uh, camera down, but none of them were worth it. Like Fantastic Four sells for eight dollars. People give them free postage with it um, for five bucks, so not worth it. Brats, not worth it. Um, there was a few other ones that were pretty cool. I did pick up a couple for myself when I was in there and some to sell. That Star Wars one, I got excited when I saw that because Star Wars stuff goes. Um, looked it up, selling for fucking $10. And if I pay 5 bucks, you know, I can't be bothered with it just to make $5. I know it's still $5, but I just can't be bothered. Just couldn't be bothered. Um, Dog Island not worth shit either but it was still worth having a little look through i was actually happy with the game selection that they uh had there they actually had more games than they've ever had before and um yeah that was all right good on them good on them i did find this uh star wars phantom menace one which goes for about 20 to 30 bucks opened it up and it was a fucking pirate copied game was not happy about that so I did pick up a mystery blank video with no labels on it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's on that. And that she gave me for free. Um, Spyro the Dragon for five bucks. I'll tell you later on what that goes for. Uh, they're just all clothes and sporting shit. All junk. These op shops are getting shit. Full of junk. Full of crap. Not finding any good stuff because everyone's on the thrifting bandwagon. The video games all that I looked up, there was a fair few PlayStation 2 games. And they um, they were all uh, five bucks, which was fine. But, um, yeah, just uh, they weren't worth anything. I looked it all up. So I got, I got this Wii U game. Uh, it's still sealed. It's sealed, but it looks dirty for some reason. I don't know why dirty on the inside two bucks why not uh didn't look that up though don't know what that's worth this one this spyro five dollars this is worth 30 bucks king kong's not worth anything it's only worth ten dollars i'm gonna keep this for myself and play this for my game channel i do have a game channel now and then she gave me for free i said how much do you want for this uh mystery video there's no labels on it at all uh for free so with me saying that we've got one or two I'm going to say one more op shop and then I'm going to call it quits today actually got too much shit I want to do uh, that mystery video another video I'm going to film uh, let's watch a mystery video there's no labels let's see what's on the video anyway let's go to the last op shop all right, we're at the Good Sammy's. Uh, this one has actually always been pretty good to me. And they usually always have video games. This battery is about to run out on my fucking uh, phone. And so is it on the camera. So, I might have to cut short on filming in here because I need to look up prices of stuff. All right, let's have a look. This one was a bit of a disappointing store. This Ninja Turtles PlayStation 2 game, I was excited when I saw it until I realized it was a photocopied cover. So I didn't even bother looking at the disc. Um, I did find in here with all these games, this He-Man Shearer movie uh, DVD, bit rattly inside, so it was broken inside. 
Um, that would have gone for all right coin actually, uh, He-Man stuff. But uh, once again, that was a photocopied cover, and they're selling it in there, so it's probably a pirate copied game uh, movie in there. Planet of the Apes VHS. No one wants that because uh, everyone brought it when it came Sorry. out. So, and that was a shit movie. That version of the Planet of the Apes was a shit one. The games, um, they were mainly PC ones. No PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1. Um, none of them were worth it. None of them were worth it. I did uh, put the camera down and uh, look it up. And just... It was just... Nah, not worth it at all. Sims, no one wants it. Cricket 07, come on. Why would we want to fucking play Cricket 07? Uh, definitely not worth it. It's disappointing when you uh, see... Uh, heap of games and then not one not one at all there's junior scrabble there's something that's not worth shit but then uh all the ball games down the bottom here i had a quick little look through them all there was a couple that were still in plastic but nothing worth my time worth anything uh there's twilight books this is why i don't fucking look at books because you've always got your fucking same old twilight shit same old crap that people get rid of that they don't want I know a lot of people say they're successful with books, but I don't bother with that shit at all. That Ninja Turtles thing that I find there looks pretty good. Um, must be from a game, but I couldn't find the game anywhere. Didn't have a price on it. Didn't bother. Did not bother. Because uh, they do this a lot. They do this a lot. So having a look, it was a fucking mess down there. Absolute mess and uh all the toys were pretty shit um the books were pretty shit there was actually a pretty shit thrift shop and uh big empty spot there for all the books but um all the kids books i did have a look through there see if there was any expensive comics or any rare shit but once again i was out of luck um this guy i think was fucking stealing shit so i looked through the toys the toys Unfortunately, we're no good. No, all just a bunch of crap in there. Usually, you find one or two good, good things to get, but uh, it was all crap. That Barbie doll was crap. Uh, and um, yeah, went through. Once again, all just a big load of shit in there. Unfortunately. All right, that one was dog shit. The camera ran out, the camera ran out, my fucking phone ran out while I was in there uh, having a look around. The video games there was shit. I said that was going to be the last one, but there's one more which I'm going to go to. Well, there's two next door to each other. I'll fucking go to both of them. What's the time? 1.30. Told the missus I'd be home at 12.30. So, and I've still got a half an hour drive home and my phone just died. I don't know how to get home. Shit. But I'm still going to go to the top shop, so let's do it. All right, we're at the salvos. This one I am going to be fucking quick, and then we're going to end this shit because I'm going to get home where I am a dead man. This place is where I got heaps of videos from once for uh, 50 cents each, and now they've jacked up their price to three dollars a video. They have hardly any videos. Uh, they had these cassette tape Lion Kings and Pocahontas and shit like that i looked them up they don't go for much so i chucked them back definitely uh was not worth going into this thrift shop at the end wasting uh, my time they had no video games a couple of pc games nothing that you can make any uh, good money off so that was dog shit right there and then i went to the next thrift shop next door um they had a few good things but uh this Ninja Turtles, uh, I did not know what this was. They, they had $15 on it. It didn't look worth $15 to me, and it didn't look complete. So I didn't bother picking it up, but it did look pretty cool. Um, they had a few bits and pieces of toys there and games, but nothing was sealed. Uh, their videos as well were $3 each. Load of shit, because it were all crap videos. They had jackass and all that, but fuck. They had crap that I just did not want, did not want to purchase. Alrighty, that is it. The last op shop was shit. I did find a bag of 
loose toys which I was going to uh, buy. Um, I was gonna buy and fucking it was three dollars and I had some Ninja Turtles in there for myself but the bitch would not let me use my card because it was a minimum ten dollars. That's fucking wrong. That's wrong that shit. The last place let me use a dollar fifty on the fucking FPOS. You stupid fucking dumb. Anyways, that's it for today. Subscribe. I need all the subscribers I can get because if I don't start getting subscribers, I'm not I'm still gonna thrift and all that, but I'm just not gonna do videos anymore. I'm not gonna film anymore and uh, show you what I get. Um, maybe these videos just aren't exciting enough. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Uh, give me suggestions if you want me to keep going, but I want to. I want a lot, lot. I want more views. I want more subscribers. I don't know how I'm going to get the fuck home because my phone is dead. So this drive might take a while. I don't remember how to fucking get home, and I'm actually being serious. Um, it's one. <laughs> well, it's one forty. I was meant to be home at twelve thirty. I am. A dead man because I went out thrifting. Ah, uh, was it worth it? Let me work it. <laughs> it was a bit of a dog shit day, but I did get a mystery video. I'm looking forward to putting on that mystery video. And uh, we'll have a drink and we'll uh, film that mystery video. But I gotta get more views or else I'm not doing these anymore. Uh, I might just sit at home and just fucking watch a reaction video where I get 500 fucking views and I'm just sitting there watching fucking YouTube. Fuck me, what way do I go home? Uh, this way would do. Fuck, this way? I really don't know where the fuck I am. We're going this way. We are going this way. Oh shit. The boys in blue. The boys in blue. And I don't have a clue where I am. I'm in so much trouble. Alright, cheers for watching. Subscribe, don't subscribe. Actually, do subscribe. Do subscribe. Share, like. Do all the fucking things you need to do. And get me cranking, get me going. Tell me what else you want me to do. Fucking proof shops are shit. We're doing fucking markets for now on. Markets! Only markets and garage sales. Fuck proof shops, I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of it! Nothing. There's a pub there, we should go to it. Fucking there's nothing. All right, I'm out. I'm babbling a load of shit. This is probably why I don't get views, because I talk fucking shit. Dog shit day, it was a fucking dog shit day. All right, see you.